this is Julia coming from the Macedon Public Library. And today I have some movies to recommend. Instead of book recommendations, since the library has movies, I thought we would do some recommendations from holiday movies. So um, I have a friend whose uh, her tradition every year is to watch a whole bunch of holiday rom-coms. So that stands for romantic comedies. Um, she's kind of addicted to them. I think she's seen every single one that's on the Hallmark Channel. And um, they always make new ones every year. So she's She's just so happy. Um, so I picked a couple that the library own. Uh, so you can come here to the library and check them out or put them on hold. And uh, yeah, we'll get going with that. First of all, I wanted to start, I have some notes. I wanted to start out by reading a definition of romantic and I don't remember which dictionary I got from. Um, but it says uh, romantic is conducive to or characterized by the expression of love. Uh, also, of, characterized by, or suggestive of an idealized view of reality. So that's kind of what we're setting up for these romantic comedies. Um, there'll be some lightheartedness, hence the comedy, um, and either some form of love or also an idealized view of reality. So we're gonna start off with the first one I wanna recommend is called Christmas Eve, which is probably not, more, not as much of a traditional holiday romantic comedy that people think of. Um, but I like that idea of the idealized view of reality. So again, a, a lot of times in movies, things are not necessarily portrayed as in real life. Um, but in this movie, in Christmas Eve, uh, I can read some of the authors or some of the actors, Patrick Stewart, uh, Cheryl Hines, Max Casella, Juliana Gill, Gary Cole. Um, so these are the people that are playing in it. Um, the setting of this is it all happens on Christmas Eve. And uh, it's connections of people or individuals that have been stuck in an elevator, in different elevators in a small area of New York City. Uh, there's been a car accident, uh, crashed into a transformer and the power went down while these groups of people were in elevators. And so it's the connections between them, whether they knew each other already or if they uh, were perfect strangers and how they get along on Christmas Eve uh, when they're stuck in the elevators overnight. So let me see, it, uh, funny moments, touching moments, frustrating moments, and in the end, it really presents an idealized coming together and perhaps change of heart for almost all of the, almost all of the characters, not every single one of them. So what I'm gonna do is um, I've given you a little bit, I enjoyed all of the things that I'm recommending I've enjoyed, but we'll start with that. Um, and then I'm gonna show trailers that you can find online on the website called IMDB, which is the Internet Movie Database. Um, so I've already uh, ahead of time loaded up the trailers um, so you can see a little bit about uh, what the movies are like to see if you might want to check them out. So bear with me while I find it and share the screen. Make sure that I'm sharing the computer sound, optimize it, and share. All right. Let's see how this goes. So this is Christmas Eve. Which is James Harris? Yes. A reorganization has become necessary, which results in the termination of James Harris. Oh, I, I'm getting fired? No, <laughs> laid off. But it's Christmas Eve. Ex-employees shall not infringe upon the workspace of company. I need you to pray for me. Dear God, if you're there... He's there. Dad's gonna kill me when he finds out I was fired. Laid off. Stop! Back off! Get me out of here! God help me. There's no such thing as a question without an answer. 
answer. You might not know it now, but it's out there, waiting to be found. And when you find it, there's no feeling like it in the world. That is a trailer for Christmas Eve. Um, so the next one I want to talk about, so you kind of get the idea. There's that idealized view of it's a very controlled situation and how it all works out. The next one is more along the lines of a traditional holiday romantic comedy, and it's called Last Christmas. So this one has Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones, if you've watched any of that. Um, this one actually came out early this year. So this is probably, this is the newest of all of them um, that we have uh, last, I'm sorry, Christmas Eve we got in 2016. So that's the oldest one. Um, so, so last Christmas, I have to say, to start out with, you really have to have some appreciation for the music of George Michael. If you're familiar with his last Christmas song. It, uh, there's a lot of George Michael music in, in it. Um, it says, if if, you, if George Michael music isn't for you, you might want to give this a pass. Um, otherwise, the music will be in your head for about a week until it, until it finally works its way out. Um, but it's fun, and it's, it's the, so the character is a huge George Michael fan. Um, it's a very sweet movie. It really is. Um, so Amelia Clark, she is a perky but underappreciated young woman. She wants to be a singer. She has lots of talent. Um, she has um, a, a big singing experience that she had when she was a child. But currently she's working in one of those Christmas all the time stores and she's an elf, um, which you'll see some of that in the trailer that we'll watch after this. Um, she has shown very poor decision making and maybe some bad luck that's happened to her along the way. Um, but she really is honestly trying to get by and do the best that she can. Um, sometimes she needs a little extra help and she also learns to look up. There's some turns and twists in the movie and it really does fit more in the traditional rom-com. There's the romantic love interests. Um, so, let me go ahead and cue up that trailer. Sound. All right. It's not my fault. I bet nothing's ever your fault, is it, darling? You have thrown away your life working in some silly Christmas shop. Ho, ho, ho. This baby, don't cry. You must just love your job. Love it. Hey, Alf. Love it. Love it. Well, what are you looking at? I'll be a falcon. Oh. I think you just pooed in your eye. Yeah, I think so. Oh. It's good luck, you know. What is? You can pooed on, my bad. I'm busy, you're weird. Goodbye. You've missed five doctor's appointments. Mum is scared. So, uh, tell me about sleep. Uh, she fine. never sleeps. Alcohol? Oh, oh she's drinking while. like the pirate. Well, okay, fine. Thank you, doctor. Again. I'm Tom. Kate. Here we are. Is this the bit where you murder me? You are so strange. <laughs> so what is it that you do? I'm not a career elf. I sing. It's amazing. Anyway. Boring, boring, boring. I'm not bored. Oh. Ow. You okay? Oh, no! You were great at your job when you started, but now it's like you don't care anymore. Hi. Oh, hi. Can I help? Last Christmas, I was really sick and I nearly died. I don't tell people because they get weird, but I don't think you'll get weird. No. And they just expect me to be normal. I get on with life. There's no such thing as normal. You're just being a human being is hard. Maybe you should do something nice for someone. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. We feel like I exist. Oi! You can't be here! Now we're Sorry. leaving! <laughs> Ready PG 13. Okay. So you see what I mean about you need. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's still making noise. Let me. Here we go. I don't know if you could hear that or not. It was still playing something in the background, but I'm gonna close that. All right, here I am again. 
Um, it's very sweet. It's very sappy. Um, it's a lot of George Michael music, but it is really nice. And it and it has all the bells and whistles and the lights and the twinkling and the elves um, for a nice holiday movie. So I highly recommend Last Christmas. And I don't know if you noticed uh, um, the, the person who's playing our mother, but anyway, it's a really good, really good movie. Okay. So finally, we are going to end with a textbook holiday rom-com movie. Um, it's based on a fairy tale. Um, it's it's exactly fitting. Uh, fairy tale, an orphan young woman, some cheesy holiday cheer, and don't forget an evil stepmother. Of course, we are talking about a Snow White Christmas. So this one came in last. It was this, we had this uh, in November of last year. So this is this is a year old. So oh my gosh, just look at the pictures of of how staged that is. And uh, sorry about the glare. Um, and she's got the candy apple and everything. It's just it's just brilliant, and it fits all all the right scores for a rom-com. Um, there is a rich prince, there is a handsome woodsman, there is uh, some hypnotism and some interesting musicians who go by the names of the Holly Jollies. Um, the only thing that's needed to fix the problem, of course, Snow White is a true love's kiss. Um, so expect that to be in there somewhere. And make sure you have some popcorn. I don't recommend having some anything like chocolate or, or M&Ms because this movie is so sweet, you won't need any sugar. Um, okay, so now let me see if I can get to the trailer for this one. And here we go. Make sure we got the sound. Let me get this going. My father always said, follow your heart's direction. It's the best driver you've got. What's going on? Lucas Prince is what's going on. He has graciously agreed to oversee the renovation of this beast of a house. Let's start with the tour. I can't wait to get my hands dirty. Figuratively. Of course. <laughs> what am I wondering? I should appear. Can I take you out tomorrow night? You are simply magic. I hate her so much. We're going to make her forget everything and everyone, the money, the company, gone. You will wake up in a motel. You will not remember your inheritance. You will run away and never come home again. I'm happy. Hi, I'm Blanca. Let me introduce you to the group. That's Z. That's true. Natalie. Oscar. Tim. This is Doc. We need somebody to come around here and make this place feel like home. I don't think you'd be alone too long. Hunter. As long as true love does not cross her path, the deal is done. We just light up like <laughs> You're really sweet. Everything is falling into place. I knew I would find you. I have no idea who you are. This most eligible bachelor in architecture digest. Ring any bells. There's somebody here who's telling me I'm missing big chunks of my life. This certain strange. I just don't understand the appeal of this, of the Jolly Hollies. Holly Jollies. Whatever. Victoria's gonna steal all of my dad's money and my company. Well, we have to stop her. Only one thing could make me remember all of this. The kiss of true love. Okay, so that is my trio of recommended holiday romantic comedies. We've got Christmas Eve, we have Last Christmas and A Snow White Christmas. Of course, we have so many other uh, holiday movies that you can check out here from the library. Um, I only picked out the three that, so two of the newest ones and one that I've been wanting to see the, the Christmas Eve for a while. Um, and, I, and I enjoyed it and actually, I'm a bit of a sap, and so there was some crying, some tearing up in all three of the movies, believe it or not, even the Snow White Christmas, just because it's so, it, it just, you know, it's corny, um, but it was fun. So anyway, I hope you um, like the recommendations and maybe give one of them a try, and if not, like I said, we have lots of other holiday movies, or if you're looking for something that's not holiday just to take your mind off it, obviously we got plenty of that too. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you at the library. Bye.